Hello students, welcome to the another lecture on embedded system design course. So in the last lecture we have seen about a serial peripheral interface as well as the I2C that is inter-integrated circuit bus. So in the last lecture we had some lag between the audio and video. So what I thought is to discuss only uh, one topic per video so that uh, the video may not get overloaded and uh, so there may not be any synchronization issues. So from next lecture onwards we will be having only a single topic per video and if the topic is very small so I will be going with two topics per video. Okay. So in the today's uh, lecture we will be studying about uh, the another uh, onboard communication interface that is uh, UART Universal Asynchronous Transmitter and Receiver that is Receiver and Transmitter Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter so if you are new to the channel uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like the channel as well as share the channel to see more videos on the embedded system design course and uh, in the last lecture what we have studied is uh, we have two different types of uh, communication interfaces that is one is onboard communication interface and other one is the external communication interface so onboard communication interface is for communicating between the the devices so which are present on board okay and uh, the another one is nothing but external communication interface so if at all an embedded system want to communicate with any of the external device so it need to use the external communication interface so in the onboard communication interface so we have uh, i2c spi as well as uh, the UART which we will be studying today and uh, also we have parallel interface as well as the, the one wire interface also okay. so whatever the SPI and I2C are nothing but uh, they are the synchronous uh, transmission synchronous uh, serial data transmission but coming to UART, it is an asynchronous form of uh, transmission. It is an asynchronous form of transmission. Uh, in this uh, in this lecture, we will be studying about this asynchronous form of transmission. So these two are nothing but synchronous forms of transmission where they will be employed with a clock signal for the sending as well as the, the rece uh, reception of the data but here we don't have any clock signal so the data need to be uh, sent in a proper manner for uh, reception as well as the, the transmission we'll see how that data can be sent in a proper form so without the clock signal in this lecture so coming to this UART as you know it is universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter so it is an asynchronous form of serial data transmission and next uh, as there is no clock signal involved here so there should be a agreement between the the transmitter and receiver so that uh, there can be a communication so which can be properly synced or we can say it can be properly done so whatever the settings that is serial communication settings are there so they should be identical for both transmitter as well as the receiver for proper transmission as well as the, the reception of data as it is not having any clock signal. So what do communication settings have is the baud rate, the rate at which we transmit the data or receive the data and next number of bits per byte. So sometimes one byte may be considered as a uh, 8 bits sometimes it may be 16 bits depend upon the the processor or controller which we are choosing so uh, it may be dependent so next we may have parity bit also so number of start bits number of 
uh, there is stop stop bits also as well as there will be flow control also that means uh, so we will be seeing about this uh, start bit stop bit parity bit uh, in this lecture so coming to start and stop bit of communication so it is generally uh, inserted with a the bit stream inserted with a the bit stream or we can say whatever the data we want to send from transmitter to receiver or from uh, the receiving end that is uh, from other end to the one end to the other end so that data should be included with the start and stop bits okay so that is nothing but inserting the bits start and stop bits in the the bit stream so while sending a byte of data while sending a byte of data so a start bit is added first okay a start bit is added first and stop bit is added at the end of the the bit stream at the end of the bit stream so generally the lsb follows the start bit suppose that uh, this is the the start bit okay so this is the start bit next uh, you will be having the the least significant bit of the the data stream that is uh, we can consider an 8 bit data so if you are transmitting some 8 bit data so the lsb that is nothing but zero position is nothing but the lsb and next uh, we will be uh, having the other bits in the first position second position third position so till the the seventh position so which is called as the msb and after this msv we will be having some stop bit we will be having some stop bit so what are the purpose of including this start bit as well as the the stop bit means so start bit informs the receiver that a bar data byte is about to arrive so whenever uh, we are sending we are transmitting this uh, stream of data which includes the data as well as the the start and stop bits uh, when it first receives it will be first receiving the the start bit itself it will be first receiving the start bit so whenever it receives the start bit so what it will think is that so a data bit is going to be arrived at the to the receiver side so it will start polling uh, the receiver line for the data okay what, uh, as per the baud rate settings you can have different baud rate settings so based on the baud rate setting of the transmitter so it will be uh, polling the the receiver line with that baud rate so that uh, it can receive the the data which has been transmitted and next uh, so what do the stop bit inform what do the stop bit inform is it will be indicating the the end of the the bit stream so after start bit the receiver line will start polling the uh, so the receiver line will be uh, polling for the the data and uh, it will be receiving that data from the zero position to the the seventh position and at the end you will be having a stop bit so whenever it receives the stop bit the receiver line will think that it is the end of the the bit stream and it will stop the the communication after that okay and uh, we can even include the the parity bit uh, for the communication uh, why this parity is needed means so if at all there are en errors in the channel so we will be transmitting the data from transmitter transmitter side to receiver side so at, uh, this should be passing through a channel so if there are errors in the channel so if we have one in the bit stream so that may be transmitted on the the receiver side as zero so that is nothing but an error so we need to find out that whether the data has been successfully transmitted without errors for checking that we require a parity bit so you may have an even bit parity or odd bit parity uh, at the transmitter side so if it is using even bit parity on the transmitter side the same will be followed on the the receiver side also and it will be checked for the error okay and uh, see so the uart of the receiving line calculates the 
the parity of the bits received and compare it, compares it with the, the received parity bit for error checking. So whatever we have at the transmitter side, so that same parity should be present on the, the receiver side also. So what is this for? This is for error checking. And next, uh, after receiving, if there, are, if there are no errors, so what it will do? It will discard the, the start bit, stop bit, as well as the, the parity bit. So that what we have is only the, the bit stream, whatever the bit stream that is starting from LSB to the MSB. That is nothing but from zero position to the, the seventh. If you are going, if you are uh, considering an 8 bit data, so you will be having the from zero position to the, the seventh position a data. And uh, so that data will be getting after separating the the start bit so whatever the start bit will be before this lsb and stop bit will be uh, after the msb and there may be some bits included in between also for the parity so that all will be discarded and you will be getting the the, the bit stream of the data we can say the byte of the the data or we can sometimes call it as a board also it depends totally on the the processor of the controller which we are choosing uh, with a urt and next uh, topic we will be discussing is about one wire interface.